Next up is your vehicle inspection. So this is actually your DOT vehicle inspections uh, for the truck and trailer. Uh, so if you haven't done this, this is like getting a smart check, except um, it's, for, it's for a vehicle inspection to make sure that your vehicle is good to be on, on, on the, um, excuse me, on the highway and that it's safe. So uh, everyone's gonna need this. You, and just so you know, you have to do this every year. I go over in the compliance section, but your DOT inspection, um, your vehicle DOT inspection has to be done uh, once every year. So they're gonna want to see this. Uh, next up is your drug and alcohol testing record. So you gotta upload, at least for one driver, the pre-employment drug test, so the pre-screening, uh, the proof of the random uh, testing program enrollment form, list of the drivers in the program, and list of any positive tests uh, from drivers from your consortium program. So um, your drug and alcohol consortium program will provide all of this for you, so you will have it, okay? Make sure you, you, you sign up with them like right away because nobody should be stepping in that truck unless this is in place, okay? Uh, proof of enrollment can be signed and dating contract between you, your company and the consortium program provider, receipt of payment for a random testing program enrollment, or a letter from your consortium program, or what they call a third-party administrator, uh, verifying enrollment in a random de testing program. There's a lot of these different companies that do it, and they just have a different way of providing proof to you. So they're just letting you know these are the three different ways that you can provide them. So an example of uh, what these forms look like. So you have the alcohol test on the left-hand side and the drug test on the right. Just this is just uh, what they look at. So when you're the drug and uh, alcohol consortium program provides it, you're like, oh, okay, I know what these are. 